Hello guys, what is going on? It is Sam and welcome back to another video. Today I have another loot from 1000 for you. Today we'll be killing cockatrices. You can find them in the Fremenix Slayer dungeon like uh, basilisks. You need a mirror shield to kill them which requires 20 defense plus I think 20 slayer or something to kill them. Uh, I don't actually know. They drop medium clue scrolls at a rate of 1 in 90 so hopefully we'll get quite a few of them. To track my kills you'll notice that I'm using a bone crusher. Um, I'm using this as it's going to speed up the process. Saves me a few trips banking. Um, and pretty much if I was going to have bones there'd be an extra 50k onto the final loot so you can do that for yourself but it saved me quite a bit of time so yeah that's why. The setup is the same as the last video just uh, full armour as they don't really damage you too much full armour. Good description there Sam, I'm sure everyone knows what you mean. Uh, anyway the the, dro the main drop is like common drop is the limp work route, it's worth quite a bit but otherwise there's no real attractive drops. Possibly a cockatrice head but um, it's unlikely that we're going to get one of them. Okay, next will be um, all the clue scroll drops and of course the rewards, but otherwise I'll see you at the end of the video for the final price check. Okay, here will be uh, project number one, then this is all the basic drops other than the herbs, so you can see the coins, the runes, uh, some of the armour, and of course lots of seeds which they dropped. Also got some mystic boots, which I actually didn't know were on the drop table, but anyway. So, 524k according to OS Buddy. Uh, Limpot Roots taking up 300k of that, so very good um, supply of Limpot Roots from them, but yeah, pretty good. All of that ended up selling for 520k. Okay, price check number two then, this is going to be the herbs that I got from the cockatrices, so uh, pretty, not very many herbs at all really, so it won't be worth too much. About 98k then, so around about 100k we'll be expecting, so let's sell these. Okay, this is all ended up selling for about 98k, so our buddy was pretty much perfect. Okay then, the clue scroll pr price check, um, we got 8 clue scrolls in total if you lost count. That Piscarillus banner is not worth 2 mil, which it said in the chat. It's worth about 50k I think, but we'll see what we sell it for anyway. So, 230k we should uh, get a, get from here. Uh, not much luck on the clues, but uh, yeah, we'll see. All of that ended up selling for 209k, so the next clip will be uh, the total profit. Okay, after adding those 3 numbers together, or yes... That is three numbers, good counting Sam, we've got about 828k in total then. So I'll be honest, that's pretty much what I expected. I thought sort of around 700 to 800k, depending on the clue luck, because it could be a lot more, it could be a lot less. Because uh, like, if you get a unique that's worth a lot of money, then the price is going to go up. And if you don't get any uniques, the price will stay down. So yeah, that's pretty good, because they don't take long to kill. They take probably three hits at average, and you can do them very quickly. I would say it's probably good if you're like collecting limp work roots and you want to do like medium clues at the same time because you'll get them uh, fairly commonly. Otherwise, thanks for watching this video guys and I will see you in the next one.